Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today we continue the journey in learning Loop Pro actions and we're going to have a look how you can trigger solo and unsolo actions. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. So we are inside the Loop Pro hosted as an AUV3 inside AUM. Let's click on the project tab here and let's load the previously created project and we select discard changes now we click edit and we go to that button swipe to the left and delete so we don't have any action exit edit mode we have a button if you click on it nothing happened then we have a clip if you click on it you activate it and if i click play on the transport control for um in aum you can hear that drum loop Okay, perfect. I'm going to disable it now. Let's click edit and um, let's now click on the arrow here on to go right and create more space and click on the clip to add another clip. Now let's um, exit edit mode. Let's uh, swipe up on the particular clip. Click on the arrow down to load document picker. We're going to audio files and we are going to select something uh, simple like a piano note like so we click open we can sample it or preview it nice and simple and then we click import and there we are we have a new imported loop which contains only one piano note let's go back to edit mode click on the button then on the press um, gesture click on the plus sign and now we look at the solo options previously we looked at the play and stop as you can see, it always asks you a target. So we click on the target. It says none at the moment. We select specific clips for now and we select the first clip because we want to solo that first one. Of course, we can solo also the next one as well. And we click uh, back here, back again. And you can see we as a target. Now we have drum loop action. Action works as per play and stop. You can toggle between solo and unsolo as we have seen toggling between play and stop or you can have the action only to always solo or only to unsolo now for simplicity for this tutorial i'm going to set it on toggle okay so exit um, edit mode now if i click on this button what happens is it solo this uh, drum loop okay if i click again it will unsolo it so let's try play and activate both clips okay So as you can see, when I click on the button, it will solo this clip, which means it will pause the second clip. And then when I click again, because it will toggle from solo to unsolo this clip, it will re-enable this clip as well. Now let's go back to the edit mode. Let's click on the button again. Let's click on the action. Okay, you can see here, it says solo context, and, and it says here, all loops but you can decide also to specify a particular color as well in this case it says when soloing this loop mute other loops of the same color so let's click on that okay and let's exit here okay so we're going also to click on the arrow here the down arrow to create more space and we add another um clip and like so we go here to the paint option we paint that green so that it becomes a different group now we swipe that up we click um, to access media document picker we go to audio files and we are going to load another loop um, for example something short this one okay click open we can solo it as well okay and we are going to import it perfect now we have uh, three clips or three loops the first one is a drum the second one is a piano note both color and then we have these uh, a loop on the green color now i click uh, um, play on the transport control i activated this loop as well and when i click solo here you will see it will act only on uh, and this color orange and that's because i have set it as a context to uh, 
only the color which belongs to the clip which is um, being soloed. Therefore, it will um, uh, solo this clip and mute only this one because it belongs to the same color but not this green one. Now, let's go back to the edit mode, edit again that particular action, and let's set the context to all loops. Now, you will see that uh, when I try now, it will mute this green one as well. <music> Okay, so hopefully that uh, uh, explain how the um, solo context uh, work, which becomes really handy in your project. Next, we have exceptions. So you can click on none and you can add an exception. So you can specify a clip or a color. So you can say, let's specify a color. Uh, so the line one, and you can see there is now an exception which has been added, which is reported here, exception line. So now when I exit um, the edit mode and I click play, when I click the button, it will solo this action here, it will mute only this one because I made an exception here. <music> Okay, so I could have achieved also the same result here if under exception, for example, and I, uh, I show you how to edit, click edit, and then we uh, remove this. I could have added also um, an exception uh, by uh, not only by color, but also by specific clip, and I could select that clip as well. Okay, I click done, exit, now edit mode, uh, exit mode. <laughs> As you can see, it has acted only on muting this one and not the green one because there is an exception which I have configured uh, here. Okay, so that is uh, how solo and uh, unsolo works. We have used it in toggle mode here as an action, but of course you can set it also only to solo and also to only unsolo. Okay, depending, of course, on what you want to do. Uh, for me, I would always use it on toggle mode unless you want, for example, two buttons, one for solo and one for unsolo, which is the same for play and stop for uh, uh, similar actions. Okay, I hope you enjoyed and as always, see you next time.